Steve, have you ordered a mic yet? You stop I'll do it today. <laughs> Steve. Google hit. I'll do it today because then I can transfer the remainder over. Steve. You're failing, <laughs> Steve. I'll do it today. I'll do it today. Instead of now we gotta share this long black thing, we each could have our own side like this. We can each have our own long black thing. Yeah. But except we gotta share one. What the uh, Steve? I'm sorry. Listen up, Rangers. Welcome to the Geek Test. My name's Steve. My name's Ernest. And today in Action Figure News. Well, first, super unimportant slash the Geek Chest news. You may see I'm wearing this spiffy little t shirt here. I hate him. I, hate him so <laughs> much. I may have made and ordered and then told Ernest that I made and ordered them. So, we're still trying to work out the kinks, but there will be some apparel. That you will be able to buy from us. Well, from a shirt site. Because we're pretty sure that's what we're going to do. So I really don't want to hang on the t-shirts. Like, if I was going to, like, a convention or something, okay, I would bring some with me. Because I'd probably just do giveaways with them if I was going to go that route. But I mean, for selling, like, I don't want to have them at my house. So we'll probably have, like, a tea, like a spread shop. I hate them. But just so you guys get a better look, it is pretty much the never-ending story Gabra Arnez edition. Alright, this is riding away on top of Gabra. So, that's the one I came up with. I plan on doing two more. Uh, I'll be working on those, uh, hopefully my day off coming up. I'll try to get those done. Because i got to do one with for, with me. Because we have to have a competition who can sell more. <laughs> and never ending story. It wins. I feel like yours wins. Even when I, when I have planned on doing it, I feel like you're winning. And then we're going to have one together, but that'll probably be like a geek chest shirt. That'll be that one. Oh, after Christmas. Although break. I still want to kidnap that one, guys, I did for you, you and Gabriel. Oh, well, we're doing that. Anyone. That might be a Patreon print. We're doing that. that. That might be like a $25 donation, and you get a shirt. Oh, that thing's so amazing. I, I, we just got to blur out the penis. <laughs> That's where I come in. <laughs> Can we put Minion down there? <laughs> I was tempted just like that. Yeah. And a Minion. Where he's like next to the kid. <laughs> Everybody's just wondering what's going on. Uh, but yeah, so look forward to that. Hopefully, I want to try to have it set up before Christmas. For sure. I don't know if have it be able to set up where you guys can get it before Christmas, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try. Can we do the uh, the shirt for the Geek Chest one as uh, the Christmas print if it turns out good? That probably like if I did that, it'd probably be like a limited print. Like I probably only have it for so long. But anyways, for action figure news, um, the yes, SH monster. Yes, the SH monster arts is finally coming out with a new mold of Godzilla two thousand two. What movie? Godzilla Strikes Again. <laughs> <laughs> Godzilla vs. Mechagodzilla. Or Godzilla x Mechagodzilla. It's the which first one with Kiryu. Which one would that be? Is it versus or the X? X. Exactly. I usually, I usually a lot of the Millenniums are like... State side wise are X. So it's like Godzilla x Mechagirus, Godzilla x Mechagodzilla. While in Japan is versus... Yeah, they're mostly... It's the same. It's like same with like the Heisei Godzilla. Like we sometimes reference it as Mechagodzilla vs. Mechagodzilla 2. Or whether it's Mechagodzilla. So yeah, we're actually getting a new mold. Looks great. Um, I think state like U.S. price is about a little over eighty bucks. I think that thing that Matt tagged us in was like eighty one seventy nine or something like that. Yeah, like it's like nine. It's like nine thousand yen, but that equates to about like eighty bucks, a little over eighty bucks, which is not bad actually. No, not really. Like, not I, it's not going to come with accessories. Not for a new mold, at least. It's not bad. Yeah, I was going to say, it's going to be one of those, like, we'll get a reprint. Oh, sorry, like a retool with the damaged chest for the next movie. I'd buy that, too. Because that retool actually has a purpose, so I would buy it. I wouldn't mind if they just took, like, one of the other uh, beings and just shoved it in the box. Yeah, well, I'm kind of surprised they just don't with a lot of them. It's just, like... They have so many different colors of the beans, just like pick one and put it in the box. I guarantee you nobody will complain about that. 
free beam. We'll take it. <laughs> this is like, why do I have 20 of the same beam? I don't understand. <laughs> Wouldn't complain, though. Make use of it. Definitely make use of it. Everybody be shooting beams. So, still waiting for that guy to go up for pre-order. It should be dropping soon. Because I think it comes out, like, April-ish. Gosh, I forgot. Was it? Yeah, I think it was April. There's, like, a, a span. I think it was, like, March, April. Or, well, April, May. I think it was April, May. Is when it could possibly come out. But we'll have to wait to see for, like, a hard date. Because um, also, they have the SH Figure Arts is coming out with Ultraman Jack. Jack? Which I actually have a Jack figure. It's one of the only random Ultramans I never, like, I know who he is, and I know he's one of the more violent Ultramans from what I've seen. I honestly don't know who Jack is. He's the one that I got with, uh, in my display case, where he has the long staff with, like, the cross on the top. He's a little, he's like a thin Ultraman. This thing was like he would like tap his arm and throw out like a boomerang looking beam and just cut things heads off. Sounds amazing. Yeah, if you know, like there's like a clip where it's like ten minutes and it just goes, and then it just does like a year around the monster and then just body parts fall off. <laughs> that sounds like it's pretty horrifying. Uh yeah, I was like that's what I like I need to see. I still need to watch seven. But we are getting that figure, so that's exciting. Uh also uh, Evolution Toys is not technically reissuing, but we are getting a like a new retooling of the Zone Fighter figure. So if you have a good Zone Fighter, he was the Ultraman ish kind of guy, but Godzilla actually shows up in his movie or in his TV show, I should say. Sounds horrible. Yep, uh, him, Gaikin, and King Ghidorah were in it. King Ghidorah. Sorry. Technically, oh, no, 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 you could drive. Oh, it's not American? Nope, not American. Oh, sad day. The thing I'm waiting for is they had a prototype of Gridman. I'll buy that, because my Ultra Gridman has seen better days. He's been through a ringer. Like, his arms, like, he can't articulate his hands anymore, because I had to glue those things shut <laughs> after drilling and putting rods through the ball. And then, so, like, his shield, same problem. So, pretty much, he's the... Uh, SH monster on the shin. He just got sort bad of. damage. Yeah, like he looks fine still. He's just not nearly as articulated as he once was. Uh, we are getting him. Uh, there's also Red Man, who I have no idea is. But I've seen a dude dress up as G Fest, so I know he's in the same vein as Tokusetsu, I do believe. I think he's kind of like Common Rider esque without the bike. It's like more like Sentai. I have no idea who Red Man is. I gotta be honest with you. I have no idea what. No, it's not the rapper. <laughs> I was about to say. <laughs> I'm not gonna judge Steve. If you want to collect his figures, that's fine by me. I mean, I I, I got a pass. Like it's one I I have no idea who it is. Like I wouldn't mind getting it just to have it, but oh, I just hit me. It's, it's Red Man and Method Man, right? Yes. Also, uh, for a Digimon figure that I actually probably gonna pre-order once it hops up. Is there um oh what the heck are they called? They're Digimon figures. I think it's Digivolving. They actually transform, so you get like the preform and one of their evolutions. So like we had Agumon and the War Greymon. And then there's also hmm. what's his face and Metal Gurumon. And now we're getting the cat thing that I can't remember his name and Angel Woman. That is a big step on evolution because you evolve from like this tiny tank to like this big old thing. Well, I think like the toy is like that big and then she's like a little bigger when she's formed. Because huh. it pretty much just like explodes into her is what it looks like for the evolution. How much? Uh, like the other ones are like about 50. For a Japanese toy that transforms, I can't really complain too much because I think they're about figure art size. I know, I know like... But I just can't bring myself to pay 50 bucks for Digimon for it. Well, it's like that Akiba Ranger figure that I want, because I want the Prius. And I've seen it for like 120 ish and I'm like, whoa, that's quite a bit of money. But you got to figure, the Rangers can fit inside of it, and it transforms. So, I paid more for smaller things. That is true. So, that's one of those like, 
next time I get some money, I might I try to get like maybe tax return time. That might be one of the figures I just go take my money. Because Ride Low needs a pal. And speaking of transforming figures, Fan Toys is putting out a RC figure. I kind of want it. RC figure. RC from Transformers. She was in the. She was Gen One, but she showed up when uh, Rodimus took over as the Prime. Oh. So I don't know if you remember her. It's pretty much her, Springer, and Hot Rod. And Sergeant Cup. <laughs> so they actually have a Springer and a Cup, which I kind of passed on because I have, like the uh, Generation Springer, and I actually love that figure. So why don't you pick another one? Well, I don't mind getting the other one. It's just kind of like, do I buy the Transformers or Godzilla stuff? Godzilla wins. Usually Godzilla wins. It's kind of like when I have like nothing else better to be buying. I buy Transformers. Like, the only one I really have on pre-order is I know, but <laughs> I don't want to pay that much for it. You're not. Your wife is. <laughs> yeah. Touche. So in the end, you'll still end up paying for it. You got touche. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I'm custling. Why is he so much? The only reason is the guy, because it pretty much just sounds like how good he does Dictates if we're getting a Megatron. Because the guy that made him wants to do Megatron, but it all depends on how good he does. Megatron wouldn't be that bad, though. He, he might, uh, he'd be about the same size, like a little bigger, maybe. Well, hopefully they don't give him the stupid stand to keep him under price. Like, I'd pay that much for a Megatron, but I'd be like, you put a stand in and make him, like, gigantic series X plus price? No. <laughs> God, they'll probably hack up the price by fifty hundred dollars on them. Oh, probably. I right, also uh, seen color images of the gigantic sixty four. Can't put pictures up of the Godzilla nineteen sixty four. Looks good. I still don't like the suit, but the figure looks good. Are you gonna pre order when it comes up? I'm actually tempted. Gabra needs somebody to hug. <laughs> That's true. Oh my God, that thing would dwarf Gabra. Oh, yeah, I know. He'd be like. Foot. He'd be like. What? Around like three, maybe a little over three hundred, like three four. If he's the same price as my King Goji, it's okay. Hobby Link Japan sent me a thing. They say they miss me. Send me twenty percent off my next purchase. <laughs> Yay! So they didn't just screw you over on another thing twice now. Never again. Ami Ami for life. Also, for some anime figures that we're super excited about, what we for keep forgetting to talk about. Is the Dragon Ball Gals Bulma? Nah, I'm not too excited about that one. Even though I want a Bulma. I, 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 actually, I, I grew up with that one. I think it's the best looking Bulma that they put out. Yeah, which is a sad thing. Yeah, because like, I hate the army one. The bunny one's okay, but I'm not a big fan of the bunny outfits. I'm, which is odd, because I love rabbits. But they're cute and cuddly, and it's odd. So. I wouldn't mind getting Dragon Ball Z Super Bulma. I, like I said, I wish they would do I still want a Khalifa, Cal, or Khalifa. Or Kethla. Kethla. Oh, God. The Fusion. Like, I'll take any of them. I'll even take roided out broly ish kale. No. All muscles all the time. No. Yeah, I, I'll still buy it. No. <laughs> Just take my money. You really want to, Mega House. Uh, but that looks good. And then they also uh, gave us a third version of Android 18 coming out. Which looks like to be the, the best one yet. What's that outfit? Because it's like a jean? She's wearing like a jean jacket? Well, it's barely containing anything, but it's there. But I don't know what what that is actually from. I want to see if I can find it. Because did she dress like that during Boo? Like, was that what she wore, like, walking to the tournament or something? Like, I, I, like, I, I, I cannot think of it at the moment. Like, a lot of, the, a lot of them, I kind of, like, I can peg where it's from. I still want to Videl, but I don't like the Videl figure that they put out. I kind of want Butch Videl, where she has the short hair. No, I think hideous. <laughs> so yes, Mega House. Again, if you're watching this, please make a Khalifa statue. I will buy it. No questions asked. Well, like all of them. You can pick all three of them in one set. And I'll, pay, I'll pay the extra. <laughs> Man, they do not fail with these figures. No, like, I, I don't even like Naruto Shippuden. I want the Hinata so bad. 
She was like the only one I really did, but like, like they make Sakura look good. And that's not even possible. <laughs> She's like the manliest character in there. <laughs> and I'm like, I see the figure, I'm like, I still kind of want that. Same with the One Piece ones, like, I, I, can't, I despise One Piece. Figures look mighty nice, though. Then for the last two figures, Mayfax is putting out a RoboCop action figure. Which is one of those things, like, I love the movies. I have nothing for RoboCop. I want to get an Ed 209 for so long, but... Oh, it's like I don't have a RoboCop to go with it, so... Like, like what's the point of getting it? Yeah, what's the point of getting it if I don't RoboCop, but I, like... All the RoboCops I want, like, you can't get a bed for it. Because, like, singling him out, solid 80% of people won't know who he is, but if you put a RoboCop next to him, everybody will know who he is. Yeah, because, like, I see it, like, I see him periodically, and it's like, I want to grab him, but I just, I don't know, like, I remember, like, when the Nectar one came out, and I just never really, like, at the time had the urge to grab it, but, like, lately I've been kind of wanting a RoboCop. Well, I want, like, a good one. This looks like it'd be a pretty good one. Like, even comes with, like, some battle damage accessories. The holster, like, ejects so you can... Yeah, like that right the there. That would be it. amazing. The gun can have a muzzle flash on it. And he has, like, the little uh, computer terminal spike that comes out of his hand. How much? Uh, I know on Amiyami, he's about... Probably 70 bucks. Oh, after nice. you convert the end. I was about to say, I'm on Amiyami right now. Let me find out. 7550. Yeah, so like about this is like sixty five seventy, somewhere in that range. He comes with a pointy finger, <laughs> but he looks cool. Like I kind of want it. Like for the price, I don't. I almost be willing to make a gamble on it. I just he comes with a lot of battle damage stuff. Mm -hmm. I almost want to pose him with it. Medicon toy makes him. It's a maybe. Let us know in the comment section below if you guys have any figures from that company. It's kind of, kind of interesting because he comes out like mid next year. September. Oh, September. So oh. Got <laughs> some got, time. You got a lot of <laughs> weeks to go. And then finally. Finally. We got the action figure we're going to talk about. All right. Prime One Studios, we talked about it before, but they're releasing a Gamera statue that's super, super duper expensive. It's from the 99 version, which is Gamera 3. See, you're not allowed to have any Gamera figures because you're going to chip their teeth. Only the one, I finally got the stuff to fix it, so I'm going to be fixing it. <laughs> problem is, I think I have to drill into his tooth to make a support. So now you're a dentist? So I haven't gotten to that part yet, uh, but I do have the stuff to do it now. But. You'll be able to get a Prime One statue. Uh, the deluxe version is uh, $1,000. What? It's, it's a beast. It's like over two feet tall. The shipping is going to be stupid. Well, shipping will be stupid. But, like we brought, up, we brought it up before, and it's an expensive figure. But they are going to be releasing a vinyl version of the figure that's half the price. You won't get the statue, but you can just get Gamera a la X plus style. That's that is the, a the vinyl is, a, is slightly under two feet, but it's still bigger than any gigantic Godzilla figure. Even Shin. So for actually less price than Shin, you can get a giant Gamera. That is a lot of money, man. Holy I don't 500 for like that big of a vinyl figure isn't that bad. No, I'm talking about the deluxe version. The statue is like that's a chunk of change. They make the Guyver one that I want so bad, it's like the same price. Ha! <laughs> so. That's nuts. I'm not getting one, but they're super cool. Prime One Studios, <laughs> if you watch this, please send us a camera. And or if Guyver. Some, somebody does make one, just take some pictures and send it to us. It'll make us feel better. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> just share it on Instagram with us. Or Facebook. And Steve send will just, a private message. And Steve will just put the super important video logo on it. Posted on our website or whatever. Okay, I'm not that big of a uh, <laughs> Funny story is I seen somebody actually do that on Facebook. I was just like, huh, <laughs> that's cool. That's why my pictures have my logo on it, or our logo on it now. <sighs> Giant letters. That's why I started, because people just kept taking them. It was like, here's all, here's their guys. Pretty sure you didn't. 
pretty sure. But anyways, let us know in the comments section below what figure you guys are most excited about. 64. <clears throat> uh, I think it's 2002. Pretty excited about that one. It's between that one. Oh, we're going to see probably the Android 18. Oh, God, the Android 18. Yeah, that's already on pre-order. Yeah, I was like, I really like that one. Like I said, like, I barely buy Dragon Ball figures, but I buy the girls. Like, it's like the weird one where I should be buying the male characters, but I don't. But I have, like, male characters for random shows and none of the chicks. It's fine. <laughs> Get out of here. And I'm going to beat those guys by hitting that like button, subscribe, become a ranger today. See you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.